Hey guys, so it's been a while. January 3rd, 2019. We're back to harvesting. Hey guys, so it's January 3rd, 2019. It's a 2019 corn harvest video. And we're taking off corn. Um, we got a little, little over 200 acres to go to shell. And more acres of that corn, but we, we ear pick a lot. We pick the ears on uh, a lot of acres for grinding for feed for the cattle. So the amount of corn acres left is actually kind of probably up there around 300 or so. So we're unloading here at one of the dryers. And they're way out there. I don't know if you can see them too well. Way out there in one of our huge 300 acre fields. So. to the grain cart. It's a little little muddy back there. The windshield's pretty muddy too. I'm about to get out there and clean it. I can't stand a dirty window. Although it might be completely in vain because it's, it's a little muddy down the low spots. But up on the high spots it's very firm. I'm trying not to cut ruts today. Oh, it's really hard to unload on the go at 6.7 miles an hour and hold the phone in your hand. <laughs> I just learned that the hard way. Topping her off. Alright, so we're narrowing down on maybe being 100 acres or so left of corn to shell. And it's about 1.45 in the morning. I'm getting tired and getting kind of sick of trying to videotape and running grain cart. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, good morning, guys. I forgot to tie last night's video all together there at the end. So I went out and worked with those guys for 10 hours last night. It was pretty painful because I'd just gotten off working nine hours of my full-time job. So I'm pretty whipped this morning. But we harvested somewhere in the neighborhood of at least 150 acres last night. Um, you can see in some of our videos that Lexion 750 combine really scoots across the field. Uh, <clears throat> I was riding the cart a lot last night. I dumped a couple loads early on <clears throat> and then my boss's son had been running it most of the day and he was exhausted. He needed to go home and sleep. So I took over the cart. And I'd much rather be driving a combine. Um, like when I worked full time for him, I was, I was a combine operator. I never had to get in the cart. But, um, I did run the car, car for probably seven hours last night. It was kind of fun. Um, I don't mind doing it, I guess. It's just not where I'd like to be. Anyways, uh, he's shelling corn at like 6.5, 6.8 miles an hour, so you have to really be on your game to keep up with that. And that f field, that specific field, um, they had to no-till that corn in last spring because it was awfully wet when they, went to, when they wanted to get it planted, and it just stayed wet. So they ended up no-tilling it in. There was ruts out there from the winter before, three foot deep. I mean, you had to be really careful because you'd come up on, not ruts, but uh, washouts. You 
go up on these washouts that were a foot deep, two foot deep, three foot deep, and you'd have to about come to a crawl to walk through that with the cart full of corn. So it was an interesting night. Got a lot done. Um, I left about 3.30 in the morning, and I don't have any idea how much later they ran. They might still be running right now for all I know. It's 10.30 the following morning. Um, but it got pretty warm and sunny today, so that little bit of frost that was in the ground kind of keeping the top from getting too uh, sloppy and muddy has probably come out, so they may have shut down and hopefully went home and taken a nap. So harvest 2018 slash 2019 is still chugging along. Hopefully we'll be done here next uh, next day or two.